If the creator of the entire universe had written you a love letter with instructions on how to live, would you read it? Sadly, many haven't, and many others have read these instructions, but have ignored them or have believed that they belong to some bygone dispensation, despite Jesus telling us that he had not come to destroy the law. There is sometimes a negative connotation with the word law. The word law is most often translated from the Hebrew word Torah, which means instructions, law, or statute. While some may associate Torah with bondage or something negative, the Bible paints a different picture. 1 John says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. God's instructions not only tell us how to live, but how to fulfill the most important commandments of loving God and loving others. The biblical definition of sin is transgression of the law. It is the lawless that Jesus removes from his presence in Matthew 7. The coming antichrist or son of perdition is also known as the man of lawlessness, one who is without Torah. Paul is often misquoted as saying that the law was done away with, however his actions and writings hold contrary to that position. Do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. On the contrary, we establish the law. Therefore, the law is holy and the commandment holy, just and good. God's holy instructions show us God's character. His Torah is his word and his law is true. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is truth. God's instructions are not a burden but are to be considered a delight. Solomon wrote that we are to fear God and keep his commandments. The Bible also says that one who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer, is an abomination. We are not saved by works, but a desire to be obedient to God's instructions is a fruit of one's salvation.